volatility is okay. Returns come from the volatility. If you eliminate the volatility, you eliminate the potential for higher returns. Right now, you can buy a 10-year treasury bond for about 2.85, somewhere in that range. And if you hold it for the 10 years, you'll get your money back and you'll get that 2.85% per year. That's what's called the risk-free return because it's backed by the US government. If you wanna try and make more than 2.85% over the next 10 years, you have to take a little bit of risk. And that's okay because if you own all these awesome businesses all around the world, chances are over a 10-year period, you're gonna outperform the risk-free return. So I'm gonna show you a lesson in the aggressive account right now that, that uh, Scott and I, we came up with this idea back in 2014 and we opened up this account, uh, it's in my account, opened up a, a aggressive 100 and I'm not an aggressive portfolio, I'd rather not have this, but I only put in 25,000, so whether it goes up or down, it's not gonna change my life. And I have confidence that over 10 years that it's gonna do fairly well, you know? So what kind of lessons will, will it provide for our investors? I thought Scott and I came up with this idea. So we thought, oh, three years down the road, we're gonna be able to show the lessons that it provides for our investors. Little did I know, right off the bat, it started providing lessons for our investors. So past performance is no guarantee of future performance. Things will change for reasons unknown to us at the present time and performance will be different every year. So when I opened this account in 2015, Started with $25,000 and right off the bat, 6.67% in just five months. I go, Scott, man, I should have put a lot more money in that. Wow, that's awesome. And then the other lesson came, right? The downside volatility lesson. The next nine months, that account, because remember, the first part of 2016 was dramatically down. Nine months minus 20% and 100% stock allocation. So you can see the downside volatility that can happen rather quickly. But look at this. The recovery, first 69 days, 69 days. Seven. So don't tell me that upside can't happen as fast as downside can. It certainly can. In the next 24 months, the peak was January 26, 2018, plus 58% in 24 months. Tremendous lessons. And then, got another lesson just recently. Early 18, right? Minus 9.42% from January 27th to February 8th, 2018. Okay, so volatility can happen tremendously in an aggressive portfolio. So what would your expectations be though if you were in a 50-50 allocation as opposed to a 100% stock allocations? Maybe about half? Yeah? That, that would be my expectation because you guys know your risk measurements now, right? So here's the 50-50 allocation. Right off the bat, plus 3.78%. Not almost seven, but 3.78. That's about half. Still a decent return. And then the downturn. But instead of minus 20, minus 9.83. Big difference. Making up a 10% loss is not a big deal in markets. It really isn't. It's not pleasant to go through, but it's not a, not a big deal. But look, first 69 days, almost made it up. You need about a 12% return to make that back up. But look at this, 23 months plus 26.84%. Even a 50-50 allocation can have some decent returns to the upside. And then, of course, the lesson of 2018, instead of an almost 10% decline, about half of that minus 5%. So here's the full years. If I would have given up on it in 2015, I would have missed that plus 5 and plus 10. That's the 50-50 allocation. What's it going to do in 2018? Who knows? But I know over time, it should have some decent average returns. 2015, the aggressive. Then plus nine, plus 20 last year in 2017. Not a bad return. And this is all net of 1% fees. I always have 1% fee deducted out of the account. So these are actual true returns that we would experience. Know your risks so you know what to expect.